Hi, everybody, and welcome to English for You. I'm Pat, and I'm Elsie. And today we're going with three friends as they take a camping trip in nature.、Mm. Before we start the article, Elsie, do you prefer to take your breaks and vacations in cities, in nature, or kind of somewhere in between? Well, I grew up in the city,、mm-hmm. so whenever I have free time, I prefer to maybe go hiking, right? Go to the beach,、mm-hmm. do something in nature. Yeah,、mm. I I would agree with that.、Uh, beach for certain. My city in the UK is about as far from the beach and the ocean as it's possible to be in the UK. It's right in the middle. So、really? taking a trip to the seaside is always a pleasure for me.、Hmm. Yes, I do prefer to get out of the city, but exploring another city can be pretty fun as well. Yeah, there's a lot of、I、stuff、agree. to do there.、Um, but yeah, camping. Are you a camper? I don't think I am. Okay, that's something we'll return to later. Once we've introduced the subject, let's read through day one and find out what's going on. Reading. A night with nature. Three friends go camping. Sean, Ting, and Olivia arrive at a campsite in the mountains around Taipei. Wow, it's much cooler up in the mountains. I'm glad I packed warm clothes. Should we set up camp in this spot? The ground here is clear and flat. This area looks great. There are trees all around too. They'll protect us from strong winds. What's the weather forecast for this weekend? The weather is supposed to be nice. You can never be sure, though. The situation in Taiwan can change in an instant. Let's set up the tents and then we can go exploring. They begin setting up camp, but Sean is struggling to put up the tent. This is so frustrating. I'm terrible at this. Come on, Sean. It's not that hard. Thread the poles through the hoops, and then use the hammer to hit the hooks into the ground. Do you need some help? Here, Ting. You do the tent. I'll set up the stove and cooking stuff. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, Sean. Will we have time to go hiking before it gets dark? If Sean hurries up, we will. So the article begins with some description to tell us what's going on. The rest of the article will be dialogue. We see Sean, Ting, and Olivia arrive at a campsite in the mountains around Taipei. Of course, there's a lot of great places、right. to go camping in、mm. in northern Taiwan. We've got all the way up in the the Yangmingshang National Park.、Yeah. You can camp up there, and you'll find many campsites there. A campsite is just a place where you camp. Now, if you're kind of being casual, and certainly in the past, it would just be anywhere you put your tent. These days, a campsite probably more means an official place where you are allowed to set up tents. These days, there are some rules that say you can't camp just anywhere you like. You have to go to a proper place. It has to be agreed on because we don't want people just destroying the countryside. With an official campsite, there are often bathroom facilities there. You could be able to rent tents if you haven't got your own. And if you just camp anywhere, you might be breaking the law. 没错，现在呢，你是不能够到处去露营的。你要选择可以露营的地方。So you need to go to a campsite.、Mm. A campsite 指的就是露营地。So now these three friends they arrive at a campsite. It's in the mountains. Right, and Sean says, "Wow, it's much cooler up in the mountains." I assume he means the temperature, not why it's cool up here. <laughs>、um, yeah, it is temperature because he says next. I'm glad I packed warm clothes. Yeah, it's always cooler up in the mountains. 山上总是比较冷，所以要记得带保暖的衣物。那还好 ，Sean is smart.、Mm-hmm. He packed warm clothes. And Ting says, "Should we set up camp in this spot?" 
Right, to set up camp. This is a pretty common collocation, a phrasal verb. It means that that's where you're going to put up or pitch your tents. You'll make a space for fires. You'll figure this is a good place to camp. There's maybe some water nearby, somewhere you can go to the bathroom. There's enough open flat ground for a tent. So you're going to set up camp. You're going to put everything down and get organized there. Set up camp 指的就是扎营的动作，所以啊，我们应该在这里扎营吗？这个是听问的问题。So, Pat, is this a good spot for it? Well, the friends will discuss this in a moment, but first, let's look at the word spot. S P O T. Spot. It's just a particular place. Of course, a spot could mean some kind of dirt on your clothes, those nasty little red things on your face. But here, it's just a particular place. Maybe good for a particular activity. We talk about tourist spots, shopping spots in towns, beauty spots, which are really nice to visit. You could say this is a good spot for a picnic because we're in the shade of some trees and protected from the wind. Spot 这个名词呢，代表场所或是地点，所以一个 popular 或是 famous 的 spot 代表它是受欢迎或是有名的地点。那刚刚有讲到的 a tourist spot。就是一个 tourist attraction 观光景点。那再来呢，像是 a parking spot 是停车位 ，a spot for something 那就是从事某事的地点。像是 this is a perfect spot for picnic 代表就是适合野餐的好地方。So the question was, is this a good spot for setting up camp? Well, Ting seems to think so. She says the ground here is clear and flat. Clear 在这个地方啊，是个形容词，代表呢通畅的或是无障碍的。那用于强调路面或是场地没有障碍物。那这里的地面通畅平坦，所以应该是适合露营的。那 Olivia 接着又说了 ，This area looks great. There are trees all around too. They'll protect us from strong winds. 代表这个区域看起来很棒，有树环绕，他们会帮我们挡强风。Protect A from B， 那就是保护 A 免于 B 的侵害。像是呢，我们可以说 Wear sunglasses to protect your eyes from the sun. 戴墨镜可以保护眼睛免于阳光的伤害。嗯、mm, ，You don't want strong winds to come and blow your tents away. However, some wind is actually good because the wind will help keep the bugs away. Oh yes, the bugs are one of the worst parts about camping. So Ting then asks, thinking about the wind and stuff, what's the weather forecast for this weekend? So a forecast is a prediction of what will happen soon, and it's based on evidence. A sales forecast would be: Well, we sold this many last month. We can expect to sell this many this month. A weather forecast says what the weather is going to be like for the next few days. Scientists examine the weather patterns. They look at what's coming up, and they go: Ah, tomorrow will be sunny, but after that, it's going to rain. 是的，所以呢 ，forecast 代表就是预测或预报。Weather forecast 那当然就是天气预报。所以这个周末的天气预报是怎么样呢 ？Well, Olivia says the weather is supposed to be nice. Now you can use be supposed to to tell people what they should do,、mm -hmm. like oh you're supposed to do this now. But here it's supposed to be nice means this is what is expected, this what's been predicted,、mm -hmm. this is what the forecast is, this is what all the evidence shows is going to happen. Be supposed to do something, 那就是应该应当去做某事。所以你可能会说 ，It's late. You're supposed to be in bed. 你应该要在睡觉了。怎么还在打电动？怎么还在写作业呢？或者是 You're not supposed to use your phone in class. 你不应该在上课的时候用手机啊。那 Olivia 说 ，The weather is supposed to be nice. 应该会是个好天气。Hmm, but Olivia says you can never be sure, though. The situation, in this case, the weather. The situation in Taiwan can change in an instant. So we're going to find out what that means by looking at the word instant. An instant is a very short period of time. It's not an exact measurement. It could be one second, a few seconds, or even a couple of minutes. The point is, it's quickly. It's unexpected. If something happens in an instant. Then it happens very quickly. Here's an example. I only had an instant to see the car as it drove quickly away. Or to use the phrase version, 
I dropped my cup, and in an instant there was coffee all over the floor. Instant 这边当做名词用哦，代表是片刻或是瞬间。In an instant， 那就是片刻之间。像是呢，我们可以说 The tornado destroyed the houses in an instant。那就代表呢，龙卷风瞬间就把房子摧毁了。So here, Olivia is right. 台湾的天气状况瞬息万变。Yeah, in the summer it goes from oh, it's a lovely sunny hot day. It's pouring with rain. Now it's very sunny again, and it's steamy because all the rain is being dried、mm-hmm. up. So yes, Taiwan's weather can be a little unpredictable. But they're going to camp here anyway. Sean says, "Let's set up the tents, and then we can go exploring." A tent, of course, is an absolutely necessary thing if you're going camping. It's a temporary shelter made of thick canvas, some kind of plastic. You put it on a pole, you hang it up, you、mm-hmm. sleep under it. So you might say, at the three-day rock music festival, most people stayed in tents. Yeah, crazy fans would do something like that, I've right? I've done that. It's fun. Really?、Yeah. Okay. Tent 这个名词呢，同学们应该都知道了，就是帐篷。所以搭完帐篷，你就可以去探索这个地方了。So we then see they begin setting up camp. Remember that phrase. But Sean is struggling to put up the tent. So we've had set up camp, set up the tents. Now we've got put up. To put up something is similar to set it up. It's in a flat position on the floor, and you're raising it into an upright position. You might put up some furniture, like if you buy it from IKEA, and you've got to do it yourself. You put up the tents. You might put up a stage somewhere in public for people to do a show on. 搭帐篷呢，除了可以用我们刚刚说的 set up a tent 之外，一定可以说 put up a tent。所以他们开始搭设帐篷了。But Sean is struggling to do it.、Mm. To struggle to do something， 那就是挣扎做某事，代表做这件事情对他来说是有困难的。Yeah, tents can be tricky. Even if you've done it a few times, a new tent, or you've forgotten where this bit goes. It can get really annoying if you can't get it right, and that's how Sean feels. He says, "This is so frustrating. I'm terrible at this." So something that's frustrating is annoying. It's troublesome. It's not terrible. It's not the end of the world or a big disaster, but it's the sort of thing that just bothers you, and it keeps happening, and you get angry because you just can't get it right. Frustrating 这个形容词呢，就是使人心烦的、令人沮丧的。So it can be frustrating when your flight is delayed.、Mm-hmm. 班机延误的时候，你可能会觉得很沮丧。It can be frustrating when you are stuck in the middle of traffic.、It、certainly can. 塞车的时候也是。那这个时候你感到挫折、沮丧，你可以说 You feel or you are frustrated. So Ting then says, "Come on, Sean. It's not that hard." Thread the poles through the hoops, and then use the hammer to hit the hooks into the ground. Do you need some help? We've got a few things to look at here. All about putting up tents. So to thread, this is the first verb. To thread something is to put a long, straight thing through a hole or a series of holes, as is usual with the tent. So it's in the right position to use. In other words, you take the long part of the tent and put it through little holes or hooks or loops in the canvas bit to make the overall structure. You could talk about threading a needle, where you put the thread through the hole in the not sharp end. You could also say thread the rope, thread the rope through this hole, and then tie it to make sure it doesn't come loose. Thread 在这边呢，当动词用，代表把点点点穿过。那通常就是把线或绳子等东西穿过另外一个物品。那它当名词用的时候呢，就是缝衣服用的细线。那如果是针的话，我们就说 needle。So here we need to thread the poles through the hooks.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, or hooks. Yes, a hook is a piece of metal or plastic with a tight curved bend on it. And so you can hang it from a wall, and then you can hang a jacket on it. You could hang it on a drawer and place something on it. Or with a hook in a tent, you put it in the ground. It traps the end of the tent, but it's easy to lift up again. It's got that bend in it. 穿过之后呢，你再用。
钩子把它勾住。那这边的钩子，我们用的是 hook 这个字。Right, and for the rest of the tent, you'll be using a pole, or usually two poles that cross. Maybe a third one, depending on what kind of tent you've got. A pole is a long, straight, thin piece of metal or plastic. You could have a wooden pole. They could be long, they could be thin, they could be thick. It's just a kind of catch-all word for anything that's long, thin, and usually circular in shape. You might say. There is a pole outside our school with Taiwan's flag at the top of it. Pole 这个字指的是呢柱或杆，所以刚刚例句说到啊，学校外有一根旗杆。那除了旗杆之外，还有什么可以用到 pole 这个字呢？像是 fishing pole 钓鱼杆 ，utility pole 指的就是你在路上看到的电线杆。那这边说到将银柱穿过这些环，然后呢，你用银锤将银钉钉进地面下，这样子就完成了。Well, Sean has had enough of trying to set up the tent. He is too frustrated, so he says, "Here, Ting, you do the tent. I'll set up the stove and cooking stuff." Of course, you want to do this when you're camping. You could just bring some kind of snacks and sandwiches or whatever and eat those. But if you want to cook something, you need a stove. A stove is a cooking device. It's got a hot or a gas plate, and you put pots and pans on the top, and you've got heat to cook the food. It's different from an oven, which you put food inside rather than on the top of. But if you've got this kind of cooking at home, you've probably got a stove. You may have a stove with an oven underneath. You could have all sorts. So we could say Anna used the stove to boil water to cook dumplings. Stove 指的就是炉子或是瓦斯炉啦，所以这边 Sean 他接着要来架炉子和煮饭的器具。So Ting thinks it's quite funny that Sean has given up on his tent making and says, "Ha ha, okay, Sean." 那接着 Olivia 说呢 ，Will we have time to go go hiking before it gets dark? 我们在天黑前来得及去爬山吗 ？Yeah, they want to go and have a little walk around, check the local area before it becomes dark. Because of course, up in the mountains, when it's dark, it's really dark. Yes, and it's going to be cold. Yeah, you won't be able to see anywhere. You've only got a bit of moonlight and starlight, and maybe a flashlight. So they want to go walking and check everywhere out before the sun goes down. Will they do it? Well, Ting answers, "If Sean hurries up, we will." So, oh my gosh, Sean must be stressed out. Yeah, I don't think he'll enjoy <laughs> hearing that, but he's going to get on and set up the stove. But Ting will finish the tent. I guess Olivia is helping with that. So yes, Sean needs to hurry so they can go for a little walk. Now we will be joining these two a little later on, or these three a little later on, to see what else they're going to do on their camping trip. Right now, though, we're going to go to today's for you chat question. For you chat. So the question we sort of. Went around it a bit in our introduction, but now let's tackle it head on. Do you like to go camping? Why or why not? I don't think I like it, but I don't hate it. Okay. So if I can go camping with my friends, I can、mm-hmm. hang out with them, chat with them. I like the idea of doing it. Yes. But personally, I hate bugs. Right. Yeah. I can't stand、enough. them, so I wouldn't say I like camping. Yeah, it's it can be fun, especially if you go with the right people, and if you do、mm. it a bit more, and you get a bit more experienced at、yeah. all the tent setting up, so you're not getting frustrated and taking hours like Sean. Yeah, the bugs are no fun, but there are plenty of ways to keep the bugs away.、Um, so it's the sort of thing I can only do for a couple of days, though, and then how like, many days? Eh, maybe two nights, and after that,、two、I'm、nights. like, I I need to be like properly clean and have access to more things, and that's it. So yeah, an overnight or a two day trip, that's about as much as I want to do in a tent before I start to feel like I can't sleep on the floor. It's hard. It's、right. cold. It's wet. So I think I would like it more if it's glamping. Yes, we did an article about glamping in English for you some time back, which is glamorous camping with. Air-conditioned places、mm. to stay in, food provided. It's it's how nice. It's not really camping <laughs> at all. It's just a different kind of holiday. But yeah, it does sound pretty fun.、Um, it's been a long time since I have been camping. I haven't 
I don't think I've actually done it in Taiwan. You haven't? No, I've done it a bunch of times in the UK, but never actually in. It just seems that there are so many just convenient places to stay the night、yeah. and then just go off and do something again in the morning. That yeah, camping's not something I've done. Maybe I need to kind of change that and get one, but not until my children are a bit older.、Mm. Babies don't do camping that well. Yeah, you have to wait for them. Yeah, they'll they'll grow up and then I'll take them out into the wilderness and really try hard not to just leave them there. But they'll like it. It's a temptation. Okay, well, what about you guys? Do you enjoy camping, or is camping something you think ah, cold, wet, bugs, dark? No, thank you. Have a chat, have a talk, and join us again tomorrow for part two of our article. See you then. Bye for now. Bye. Vocabulary review. Spot. This park is a really nice spot to stop and have a picnic. Instant. Marcy just looked away for a few seconds, and in an instant, a thief took her bag and ran away. Tent. Johnny loves camping, but he hates setting up his tent. The wind always seems to blow it away. Thread. The doctor threaded the needle through my cut to finish closing it up. Pole. Lori used a metal pole to support her tent during the camping trip. Stove. This apartment has a refrigerator but no stove, so you can only prepare cold food. 小补帖 Campsite. Forecast. Frustrating. The show program is by Huayong Kongzhou Language Production. Huayong Kongzhou Language Magazine. Please search the nearest bookstore in your area. 如欲索取视听教材，请来电零二二三六四四零零零零二二三六四四零零零，或上网查询，网址是 triple w dot english 四 u dot net triple w dot english 四 u dot net。